Hello guys and welcome back to the channel where today guys I'll be showing you how you can actually see Flyvice in Strava application. So guys the first thing that you actually need to do is go to uh, strava.com and download the application if you already have one you can always go and log into your application but if you do not know or you can do not have an application uh, the profile you can always go and register to one if guys you do not know how to do this you can always go to our youtube channel where we have plenty of how to Strava videos where you can see how you can do this now guys that we got that out of the way let's see what we actually have in front of us so here we have the Strava application we have the home button we have the maps where you can unlock all of the maps by going starting a free trial or buying the full application you can click on record to record your swimming, running, and all of those stuff. Now uh, you have the groups where you have active, you have challenges, you have clubs, everything about those things also. And you have the U button where you can see your progress and your activities and everything about that. You can also see, click on your profile where you can see your following and your followers. And all here you can see all the stuff about your profiles, your, your, you edit your kilograms and everything about that. Also on the home button, we have to connect a GPS watch or computer where you can connect one, which I highly recommend you doing for the full experience. You can record using this application. You can see what your friends are doing and you can subscribe to Strava and you can choose your privacy setting. But now, guys, let's see what uh, are flybys actually. So flyby is a Strava Labs tool that lets you, lets you play back your activity as well as those near you on a map and timeline. You can access... Uh, your flyby by clicking the bottom on your activity details page on the web. So you need to uh, to find your on go look at the web and find your activity detail page on the web. Alternatively, uh, alternatively, sorry, you can manually enter your activity ID into the flyby tool. So basically, that's guys how you do it. I hope that you found this video informative, and if you did, don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, put the notifications on, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye, guys.